Preston Memorial Hospital offers four locations in Preston County to complete your laboratory tests. Our friendly, qualified staff is happy to serve you in Kingwood, Reedsville, Fellowsville, and now our newest location in Brewston Mills at the Brewston Mills Medical Center, where no appointment is necessary as walk-ins are welcome on Mondays from 7 to 5, Tuesdays through Thursday from 7 to 3.30 and 7 to 11 on Fridays. For directions or questions, give us a call at 304-379-1103. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project and are committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Kent and Melissa with Delano's Furniture and Mattress. Celebrate the new year with us by saving big on our double-sided Made in West Virginia mattress sets. Yesterday's quality meets today's technology. A mattress you can flip. It'll last you year after year. Come, Come experience the Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. We also have adjustable beds. One, hut two, hut three. Fuck! What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to teach these ladies how to play football. You leave those girls alone and get back to work. But they want to play. Bye, Buck. You better get in there and get my winter treads on and check my brakes and change the oil. We have to get to the Preston High football game, you fool. Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. Welcome once again to Kingwood, West Virginia, where it's time for the 78th Annual Preston County Buckwheat Festival School Day Parade. Peggy and Melissa are street side with the uh, parade just about to get underway, and we'll go down there right now. Welcome everyone uh, to this beautiful, glorious day in September, Melissa. Perfect weather. Perfect, absolutely perfect. So, what's up, Melissa? Well, here we are, another beautiful buckwheat weekend. And again, as mentioned, it's the 78th annual Preston County Buckwheat Festival from downtown Kingwood, West Virginia. So. Peggy and I are going to be with you throughout the duration of this school community day parade, giving you some play-by-play -play and describing uh, the treasure trove of sights and sounds. And Mon Health, Preston Memorial Hospital, thank you so very much for bringing today's telecast to the public of Preston County and those that share on YouTube. Absolutely. Thank you for being our sponsor today. And also to Stone Paving, uh, we'd like to thank Richie Stone for his generous support of today's parade and making it possible as well. We'd like to invite you all to thank Richie and Mon Health. Absolutely. Well, the, the, the streets are really filling up. Uh, I saw a lot of chairs lined up two hours ago as I came into Kingwood. 
Uh, uh, it looks just like a great crowd today. Everything is going just perfect so far. It is. And, you know, I've noticed there's, you know, a little light breeze, which even though it is warm today, there will never be a complaint from any of us about it being warm because uh, we don't want any rain, don't want any snow, no flakes. So uh, just a perfect picture day for today's fe festival parade. Melissa, I'd like to um, mention our associate sponsors real Absolutely. quick, and then maybe we can run down the court and the children's court so we can give them a little special attention. First of all, we have Air One shots provided by Preston Family Pharmacy. Preston Family Pharmacy, Eric Beldina, located across from Walmart on Route 7, just outside of Kingwood. And you've already uh, got a picture of that as we came on board, the aerial picture of uh, the beautiful downtown Price Street. And uh, we'd also like to thank our other associate sponsors, Delano's, Route 7 Reedsville. Great furniture, great prices, and uh, mattresses made right here in West Virginia. Rainbow Tire on Route 7. Thank you, Tire Lady. You're awesome. And Browns Mill Grocery, Route 92, Arthur Dale. Thanks, Steve Biggins. They're at Dogtown Road, where I regularly eat lunch. And then uh, a special thank you to our regular Nelson Corbin for providing us with the uh, lift to give you these aerial shots that you will see today. So we'll go out for a quick commercial and we'll come back in and run down the court for, for today's festival. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project, and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. The Transitional Care Program at Preston Memorial Hospital is an alternative for acute patients who need a little extra help before returning home. Services include physical, occupational, and speech therapy, patient and family education, personal care assistance, individualized care plans with daily activities, and 24-hour nursing care. Our team works to ensure a smooth return to independent living. For more information on the Transitional Care Program at Preston Memorial Hospital, visit us online or call 304-791-3733. Welcome back to the 78th annual Buckwheat Festival. Uh, we're here in downtown Kingwood and Peggy and I are going to go over with you the uh, court, the royalty for today. So first of all, we have uh, Madeline Sophia Warnick serving as queen. She is the daughter of Kimberly George and Michael Warnick of Kingwood. Uh, she also participates in the Preston Knights Marching Band. She's a member of the National Honor Society, so she's smart, and is on the principal's honor roll. And, uh, Madeline, so she's smart. She is smart. And beautiful. And beautiful. And uh, her first experience, Peggy, was when she was in first grade as a flower girl. And then even in eighth grade as a junior princess. So uh, I guess this was a natural progression uh, of a true nature going completely through every position she could possibly hold on the court, which is kind of neat. So... Um, Sounds like she had some high high goals. Absolutely. Set. And she said that she wa would go watch the coronation every year. So King Buckwheat is Hunter Wade Thomas of Brewston Mills. He is the son of Greg and Crystal Thomas of Brewston Mills. His family's been farming in Preston County for many, many generations. And uh, he has even planted and harvested his own buckwheat and won an award for it last year. First and maid of honor is uh, Sandra Brooke Deberry, the daughter of Craig and April Deberry of Kingwood. First runner-up is Tyler Clarence Pomeroy, son of Kenny and Su Suanette Pomeroy of Eglin. Second maid of honor is Bailey Louise Teeter, daughter of Tony and Christina Teeter of Kingwood. And the second runner-up to King Buckwheat was Charles Lee Sisler, son of Daniel and Brandy Sisler of Terralva. Today's Queen's train bearers were Adrian Bernadowitz, daughter of A.J. and Jessica Bernadowitz, and Emma Goodrich, daughter of Jamon and Megan Goodrich. The Queen's crown bearer was Elena Liston, daughter of Robert and Jamie Liston. Other children's court con con included Cash Bischoff, 
son of Sean and Jody Bischoff. Scarlett Hayes, daughter of Terry and Diana Hayes. Caitlin Kelly, daughter of Clinton and Julie Kelly. King's tra train bearers were Jace McCleary, daughter of Ike and Amanda McCleary. Bryson Teets, I'm sorry, son of. <laughs> yes. Bryson Teets, son of Joe and Courtney Teets. And the King's crown bearer was Kinsley Rousey, daughter of Zach and Megan Rousey. Other members were Colin Sheets, son of Brian and Tiffany Sheets. Chloe Stuchel, daughter of Heath and Michelle Stuchel. And niece of Karen Farrell, I have to add. Add it, yes. Bailey Wheeler, daughter of Shane and Amber Wheeler. Senior princesses included Lydia Farrell, Tori Garlitz, Kerrigan Hawthorne, Jenna Kisner, Caitlin Mer Miller, Macy Roy, Emily Passerby, and Mary Ann Wolf. Escorts Shane Farrell, John Harris, Jesse Gripple, Ethan Haskell, Corbin Lipscomb, Bryson Rodeheaver, Hayden S Thomas, Holden Thomas, then we had Junior Princesses, Caitlin, Caitlin Baker, Brianna Bischoff, Jocelyn Brake, Margot Serboni, Avery Colbank, Rosalind Kramer, Allie Fitchett, Elena Phillips, Marley Phillips, Peyton Rumor, Avery Shahan, Lexi Shaw, Emily Schillingberg, and Taryn Veltry. Sorry if I butchered any names too bad, but congratulations to all of you and thank you so much for your representation for the 78th Annual Preston County Buckwheat Festival. They're a good looking crew of kids, I can tell you that. So, Well, that's there's great. requirements before they even become that good looking crew. They have to fill out applications, they have to have references, they have to meet a GPA. Um, there's a lot of things they go through, so our hats are off to you all. Absolutely. Congratulations. And again, so glad that they have a great day today to uh, enjoy and be fully seen by this uh, large crowd that has gathered to watch us parade today. And the fire whistle, if you heard it in the background, has sounded, of course, Peggy. So uh, we have the uh, junior ROTC from Preston High School coming down Price Street today, kicking off the parade. And as we start off again, thank you to uh, Preston Memorial Hospital, part of the Mon Health System, and Stone Paving. Richie Stone, as we get started, thank you again for making this parade possible today. Crowds showing their appreciation for uh, this junior ROTC. The Knights Battalion out of Preston High School. They put a lot of hours in, don't they, Peggy? You they know? sure do. Look at that rifle crew. What a gorgeous flag. I wonder what the weight of that flag is. Can we Google that? 
you should be able to. That's pretty big. I mean, it takes up definitely half the street. And our city of Kingwood es police escort today. Kind of nice just to sit back and watch for a change, isn't it? It is. It's such a nice day. You cannot help but just uh, enjoy this. I know they're not upon us yet, but in the distance we can hear the uh, Mountaineer Challenge Academy. Talk about dedication. Oh my goodness. Um, I was in the Reedsville Fire Hall this week, uh, down at the Mesa Town United Methodist Church eating buckwheat cakes, and uh, their group was in there serving all these community organizations throughout this weekend that really You're need. the second person that has mentioned that. Is that right? Yep. Um, I had someone say from here on out, as long as they're serving there, that's the only place they'll go. Wow. That's impressive. But I'll tell you what, they are so respectful. Um, we've had them at West Virginia Caring help with different projects. And uh, what a hardworking, every year, dedicated crew. These are kids that um, have bright futures ahead of them. You know, they've come to these classes um, to get their degrees, but also to learn about life and respect. And they've they've made a whole uh, lifetime commitment now. I mean, they've changed their lives. Absolutely. And, and, uh, it's amazing. Look at that class. That's a large class too, isn't it? My goodness. That's great. Great group of young men and young women. They sign up for a 22-week program, Melissa. Can you imagine 22 that, weeks and your child is gone for 22 weeks? You know, and when you think of some a program like that, when you think of somebody entering the Army that's older, these are teens. Mm -hmm. These are teenagers who sign up to do that. They sure get their strength built. Kingwood Volunteer Fire Department. Got some cute kids in there with their face painted. Of course, last night was a fireman's parade. Peggy, you were here for that. And here comes David P. Brown. Dave and Sheila, thank you for- The general chairman. A wonderful festival. David is a uh, lawyer with Everhart Brown and Associates in Kingwood, a 1977 graduate of West Virginia University. He received his BS administration with a management emphasis. Graduated from the college law in 1980 and been practicing law in Preston County ever since. Don't make me do the math, Peggy. And he did a great job as assistant general chairman last year and was awarded yeah. this beautiful day. Right? Wow. Isn't that how that goes? That's what you reap what you sow. There you go. And emergency fire truck. That's something we don't In see. In action. In action. They just wow. went up. You saw how quickly they turned around, turned around, and, around and went and back, came for back to, and to answer and respond. Wow. No, they definitely were uh, swimming upstream there. Laura Schaefer. And there's uh, Buddy Turner. He's a native of Preston County and graduated from Preston High School. He's the assistant general chairman as we just spoke of uh, Mr. Brown. And then Laura Schaefer with her um, 
they're hmm. I don't know what the dog's name is, but I it's beautiful. I tell you what, that is a beautiful. Laura beautiful is animal. the assistant principal at Preston High School. Wow. And right behind behind her is Brenda Layton, the uh, assistant chairman, also from the Preston County Board of Education. Today's of, uh, coronation official was Jonathan Hammond. He's the coach of the WVU rifle team. His duties are finished now as he put the official crowns on the heads of Queen Series and King Buckwheat. And boy, do they, that WVU rifle team, my goodness. Award winning in the Olympics, everything. Very impressive. Mr. Steve Wadring, Preston County Schools Superintendent with his wife, Lisa. And behind them is Brad Martin, and uh, we'll see them in a second coming up. It is the school day parade, so of course, the Preston County Board of Education in the forefront. And we have the Assistant Superintendent, Brad Martin. And Angie Varner. Both assistant superintendents here in Preston County. Teachers of the Year, Samantha Funk, and Personnel of the Year, Stephanie LaRue. Lorenza and Judy Halterman are the Honorary School Day Parade Marshals. Yes. Judy's a lifelong resident of Rollsburg and graduated from Rollsburg High School, class of 1958. The city of Kingwood has announced this year's citizen of the year is Miss Lucille Krogan. Wow. She got her a nice ride. She is looking like Batgirl in that, <laughs> I think. If I run into her, I'm going to tell her that. And the next entry is one of the most important. This is Jason Gross, who was the 2019 Buckwheat Cake Eating Contest winner. I don't know how many he I ate. don't know how I, many. We, sh I, 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 we should have had that done. Should have had that done. <laughs> I should have been sitting beside him, giving him a run for his money. And here comes our Queen's Float, Madeline Warnick, along with her Maids of Honor, Bailey Teeter, and Brooke D. Berry with their escorts, Tyler Pomeroy and Charles Sisler. Pure royalty right there. And, and there we have Miss Jenna Kisner. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful. The senior princesses. Their escorts looking sharp today as well. And again, what a great day not to be walking in the rain, but instead enjoying this beautiful, beautiful weather. Our junior princesses, of course that we named earlier. Who knows, Peggy? Uh, maybe it'll be like this we year. Might be seeing Here, queen you may be looking at a future queen right there. All with the perfect parade wave. I love those purple gowns. I do They're too. striking. Very aren't royal. They? Flat. Very, very regal. <laughs> and here comes the main man. He's a pretty happy one, must say. Hunter Wade all Thomas. all the little kids. Hi, with kids. his court. Oh, they're teddy bears. Hunter is a member of the National Honor Society. He was also on the uh, principal's honor roll. Knights of the Round Table at Preston High. He's also a member of the Shady Grove Church of the Brethren. Plans to attend West Virginia University upon graduation. Big and as I mentioned, ahead of him. grows buckwheat. I love that. 
Melissa, 168 strong, coming down the street right now. We have the pride of Preston County, the Preston High School Marching Band under the direction of... Deborah Westbrook and, of course, their drum major and field commander, Heidi Gedley. Their uniforms are black and silver. Their mascot, of course, the Knights. And the selection they are playing is Hard to Handle. Just also like the nickname of Peggy <laughs> Cochran. <laughs> this is unusual, Peggy, because usually Preston High ends the parade. Mm -hmm. This is a different lineup than previous years. And I'm so. liking it. Always good to see them. I assume they're going to round off here and head into their... Well, as soon as they strike up a tune again, we'll just sit back and observe. How's that sound? Absolutely. And Shauna Bloom is their assistant director with uh, Deborah Westbrook. Heidi Gidley is the field commander or drum major. I'm telling you what, I watched a video of her the other night. Uh, up at the Knights Field, leading the band leading. on their half time. That little girl, she got some moves. Excellent. Nights. Great job. That's great. Flag fruit troop looks great. Recent studies have shown that people who complete a cardiac rehabilitation program can increase their life expectancy by up to five years. Preston Memorial Hospital's cardiac rehab team helps you begin and maintain a treatment plan that works for you. They offer education and support to make healthy lifestyle changes that fit your needs. We're here to help you live longer and enjoy life. Most insurance plans are accepted. Please contact your doctor or our cardiac rehab center at 304-329-3429. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. Kent and Melissa with Delano's Furniture and Mattress. Celebrate the new year with us by saving big on our double-sided made in West Virginia mattress sets. Yesterday's quality meets today's technology. A mattress you can flip. It'll last you year after year. Come, Come experience, experience the Delano's difference. difference. The Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. We also have adjustable beds. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. 
Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. Hut one, hut two, hut three. Buck! What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to teach these ladies how to play football. You leave those girls alone and get back to work. But they want to play. Bye, Buck! You better get in there and get my winter treads on and check my brakes and change the oil. We have to get to the Preston High football game, you fool. Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. Pine Ridge is a 120-bed short and long-term care center whose goal is to help people feel stronger and healthier to enjoy the fullness of a physical, emotional, and spiritual life. A dedicated staff providing each resident with coordinated quality care, spiritual support, and sense of community. We invite you to stop by and visit Pine Ridge in Kingwood. My goodness, this is a new float for them this year. I am this pirate theme, the Pine Ridge Pirates. A, bount a bounty full of quality care a treasure trove that's this year's theme treasure trove of sights and sounds and coming up one of my personal favorites the West Virginia caring crew West Virginia caring used to be hospice care corporation Who's and that cute little girl who on the is top that girl left blowing side. kisses Whoa. That's my daughter. There's Darlene DeSantis, works upstairs, and also volunteers and employees are on there. Hospice is our, West Virginia Caring is our hometown hospice. Nonprofit for 36 years here in Preston County and helps others transitioning through life limiting look, illness. Look, 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 there look. she is. She's waving at the camera. My daughter, Ruby, right on the corner there. And coming up behind them. Preston County Schools. Special Olympics. It is a Special Olympics. Mm -hmm. Great to see them. I've volunteered at Special Olympics several times and what an absolutely rewarding and wonderful experience. Huge unit by Mike's towing. My goodness. If anything happens to the bus coming up behind them, I think they're be not going to have hands. the the parade will not even come to a halt because of that. And coming up behind them is the Preston County Schools Learning in Motion bus. Preston County Schools Learning in Motion bus has been in service now for two years, Peggy. The bus visits schools throughout the school year and during the summer months to various communities with food. It houses a variety of STEM activities and a whole library of books. Suncrest Middle School under the direction of Neil King. We have 90 members in this unit. They recently received a second place jazz band in the state and got a perfect score at the West Virginia Secondary Schools Association Band Festival in 2019. Received a perfect score. Now those young ladies are strutting their stuff. They are. I like what I saw. Next is the Good Neighbors Day float from Bruce and Brandeville. Mm -hmm. Beautiful court. Happy 
Behind them is the Brewston Youth League football and cheer squad. Well, this is something new to us, Brewston Middle School. Uh, they have 32 members, and it's great to see them under the direction of Courtney Miller. We have the West Virginia Northern Rail Trail. Many, many Prestonians take to it nightly and in the morning. And I'm sure that these Prestonians have um, aided in making that whole thing so much better. Volunteering, picking up garbage, Absolutely. making it safe. We have the South Preston Youth Football and Cheer Organization. All of Tunnelton, Newburgh, Fellowsville, Rollsburg, and Thornton children are on the back of Snyder Towing's truck. Their coaches are Stephen Holt, Felix Record, Chad Chambers, Matt Burgoyne, Clint Radabaugh, Jennifer Knott, Stormy Matlick. Great group of people. Here you see our prodigy truck delivering voice, internet, and TV to Preston County via fiber optic. So Melissa, this is one of the best days of the whole school year in Preston County. It is. This is the best day to be from Preston County. It is. You do not have to go to school. And it's no not school. counted against you? Absolutely. You can play outside. You can eat all the yummies. These kids are all excited. They're going to head right down there to the fairgrounds and ride, ride, ride. They are. This is the Preston C County Soccer Club you're taking a look at right now. Sponsored by Greer. And they're actually talking to us, Peggy, because they are now trained to know they're on TV. Did you see that? They I missed it because I'm behind They the immediately started looking at us, <laughs> trying to talk to us because they know they're on TV. They're, that's adorable. Here in Preston County, we train them early. Bubba's Tires pulling this next unit, hauling the Bubba's Stags. Yes, the Bubba's Stags. And a, and a whole lot of great looking tires. By Bubba's put Tire it, Services in Kingwood. Put a whole new meaning to hay bells on the wagon, huh? <laughs> Instead of hay bells, you're right, tires. Aren't you tired of that? Oh my gosh. Oh no. And coming up behind them is the West Banco Wildcats. A great day for, like you said, all these community teams and recreational get to be in the parade. The Clear Mountain Bank Bears are behind them. And the blue shirts and the blue pickup, blue balloons, they have it together today. Valley Pharmacy Panthers. You ate eagles? You ate buckwheat you cakes ate. earlier. I did. <laughs> Not eight. I did get to the six, so. <laughs> Valley Pharmacy Panthers, look at that. Oh, what adorable wagon. Mountain Path Properties sponsors the Panthers. The lady, future lady knights. I love that wagon. I do too. And as you can hear coming up behind them, Peggy, who do we have? 
Under the direction of Robin Bond, we have Liberty High School Marching Band, proudly presenting 72 members. They've traveled 105 miles to participate in today's parade. From Clarksburg, West Virginia. Amelia Ro Rozier, or Reeser, I'm sorry, is their field commander. Their mascot is the Mountaineer. And they are playing Emblems of America. Just, do you recognize that? Um, it kind of looks like what's right behind us. What Absolutely. Do you think? It's our sponsor for today, Preston Memorial Hospital, part of the Mon Health System. Hey, girls, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much to Preston Memorial Hospital. Great to see some of their employees riding on their float. And 107.7, the Good Time Oldies and the Preston County Chamber of Commerce. The award winners this year, Preston Memorial Hospital, I mean, Preston Memorial Hospital is Business of the Year. New Business of the Year is Sprint. Legacy Award is Street Store. And the Nonprofit of the Year is the City of Kingwood. And Sheila Haney, Ambassador of the Year. We have an aerial view from the father of the driver of this unit. <laughs> Pulling the stags. Christopher Walker is the driver of that unit. Oh, those girls are having a good time out there today. And behind them is who they cheer for, I believe. There's the stags football team. One hundred and forty strong. South Middle School is directed by Jay Drury. Colors are maroon and white. They come from Morgantown, traveling fifty miles. Their Thank mascot you so much. is the Stallions. They were invited to perform at Kennywood Park this year in the Fall Fantasy Parade in Pittsburgh. Cool. That's a great honor for them. start their selection for the parade, which is September. Appropriate. Like the last Friday of September? Earth, wind, and fire. Can't go wrong with that. Look at that aerial shot. That's awesome. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Eric Beldina. Preston Family Pharmacy across from Walmart on Route 7 for providing that with a convenient drive through pickup window. Wow, can I get him to, if I could just get him to serve some fries or apple pies with that, it would be perfect. It's nearly perfect, I'm gonna have to talk to him. Here you see the... I think he does carry some apple pie. <laughs> okay, I'm good, the guy. The 
Raz truck and Preston Power Sports coming up behind them and their little side by is that a side by side? It's one of those things with four All wheels. Right. With the, okay, it's got four wheels. I didn't want to sound, uh, you know, not in the know and say. Preston Dental Care. And rounding the corner behind Preston Dental Care is the Lewis County High School. Marching Minutemen under the direction of Alan Heath. They are from Weston. I was just down there two weeks ago for a football game. The name of their drum major is Charlotte Dotson and Kristen Fisher. They are blue, gray, and white. They are the Minutemen. And 78. They have traveled 148 miles total to be here today. And as I look at their hats, I see now they are the Minutemen. Look pretty cool. Pretty sharp. They will be playing for us victorious. And they are in Division Two today of the band competition, so I hope that they're trying to subliminally tell the judges, oh yes, we're victorious. Nice move, smart. Smart move, Alan Heath. Congratulations to her. I would like to do this. The We're kind hunt of a, of a lifetime? lifetime? Yeah. Hmm. What would you be interested in? I'm not sure if it would have four legs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Their ambassador is Dale Brown Sr. And uh, they are a nonprofit. I did not know that. A 5013C organization. They've been in business for 20 years, and of that, Dale has been with them for 10 years and is the ambassador for the state of West Virginia. Any child with a life-threatening illness and is 21 years of old or younger that wants to go fishing or hunting, their organization will see to it that they get their dreams to come true. God bless them. I'm not sure if this next unit was planned to follow them. Uh, that's complete irony. I am assuming that Preston it's... Preston High School Animal Processing. Animal Processing follows the hunt of a lifetime. They meet all your needs. Oh my I mean, goodness. For, for all, all your, your meets, meets, needs. Needs. Call. call. Give Preston High School Animal Processing a call. I'm sorry. That is too funny. That is hysterical. Westwood Middle School, under the direction of Chip Buck, brings us 47 participants today. And they're coming to us from Morgantown. Their the mascot Warriors. is the Warriors. Warriors. Looking sharp in their black, red, and white. Kind of brings back memories, doesn't it? It does. It does, you're right. And they will be playing another good follow-up to September. They're playing. Let's groove. This is like the soundtrack of my life today, Peggy. And rounding the corner, coming behind them, is the Roberts man. Family, look at that. Frank Roberts, Savannah. Their new building, you may have seen it, located at the former place of the old Silver Circle and their family convenience store located one mile out of Kingwood. You mentioned they it today. They have boiled peanuts. They have boiled peanuts, they have everything. Look at that, hot boiled peanuts. It was a hot 
business today coming in. I mean, oh people goodness. were just like rubbernecking, looking to see. So stop on in yes. at Robert's Family Convenience Store. I'm as attracted to the hot boiled peanuts as I am to the antiques and other unique items they have there. He's got a little bit of everything, that's for sure. Open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., seven days a week. Boy, you're... Those headlights catch your eye. I do. My goodness, I love those lashes because it's complete, complete eye, eye care. care. <laughs> I do Aren't care. Aren't they clever? I do care. I do. <laughs> Boy, you're on today. You must have had some coffee. I can't believe you haven't had buckwheat cakes yet. Nope. Not too far away, though. Bridgeport High School under the direction of Chris Hazlett. I think so. They were the Queen's Honor Band for the 2019 Mountain State Forest Festival, performing at Walt Disney World in December. 62 strong. Round trip mileage for them is 102 miles. They are under the drum major of Paisley Adlington. Their mascot is the Indian. And they are playing West Virginia Hills and In Defense of Liberty. This was the Queen's Honor Band for the 2019 Mountain State Forest Festival. They are performing also in December at Walt Disney World. I hope they have some summer outfits for that event. Here comes the Kingwood Southern Baptist Church, right here on the outskirts of St. Kingwood, West Virginia. They provide meaningful worship experience for all generations. And the Dream Mountain Game Ranch. It has now, you know, it's a wedding venue as well. I did not know that. It is near Albright, West Virginia. So if you're thinking about getting married and want a dream wedding. Followed by PC's Pizza. Now delivering. Again. Curbside pickup as well. I love that pizza balloon on the back of that. That's hysterical. I also have utilized their now delivering for lunches at work. So. And we would just like to again thank our sponsors today here at the 70th annual Community School Day Parade. Our major sponsor. Mon Health Systems and Preston Memorial Hospital and also Stone Paving. Thanks again Richie Stone for being here today with us. And you see the uh, Fellowsville School here. Another good looking wagon. I don't remember wagons like this before. And I'd be willing to bet that we'll see the same wagon in tomorrow's Farmer's Day oh, Parade. But it will not be pulled by that truck. What do you think? You know what? Uh, I think we will have some kids of a different kind. Possibly. Get it, kids? <laughs> I get it, kids. Oh, my goodness. And They're going to go to the festival tomorrow. Yeah. They're going oh, yes. to go to the go festival to tomorrow? Too much. Too much. We have the East Hardy Band right now. The Cougars out of Baker, West Virginia, under the direction of Bob Thompson. My daughter should have just hooked up with them and rode the bus up. Maybe she would have made it here in time for the parade. Uh -huh. Maybe so. I'll tell you Sorry. Coming out. 172 miles round trip. These guys have traveled. And they are playing.
playing the final countdown. As I recall, Peggy, the final countdown was Europe's one and only hit. <laughs> one time my nephew, Eric, came out of a store in Myrtle Beach and he had the CD and I said, it was the best of Europe. And I said, oh, what songs do they play? He goes, oh, well, they just had one hit. <laughs> and I said, why'd you buy the whole CD then? <laughs> there is West Preston Primary Care. Dr. Jason Statler, Dr. Mackenzie Clarkson, Dr. Cynthia Clarkson, and... I'm sorry, I was like in a daze. We have Reedsville Fire Department pulling this next unit. And these are representatives of the Miss Valley District pageant. Consuela Albright, Natalia Mumal, Jessica Lambert, Kathy Staten, Jalen Myers, congratulations to all of you. Jessica Lambert, Mary Dale, Allison Warner, Layla Pell, Consuela Albright, I love that name, Chloe Hustle, Hazley Matheny, Tish Lambert, and you're looking at the Garrett Regional Medical Center. Striving to treat each patient like a member of their own family. They also include the uh, Grantsville Medical Center. Aboard the Kingwood Lions Club float today, we have 4-H team leaders. And this float is in remembrance of Richard Graham and George Hartman. West Preston School Marching Panthers. So undoubtedly we are not having that unified band today. The not Eagle today, has I guess, broken yeah. Out. I did not realize that they had incorporated the blue into their uniforms. I'm sorry. I did not either. now out of Arthurdale, which seems weird to say, does, still does to me. West Preston out of Arthurdale, West Virginia, the Panthers. Main Street, Kingwood. Molly Mazza, Nathan Stoner, Matthew, Whitney Pomeroy, Natalie Phillips, Vera and Jace Strasser, West Virginia State Fair Livestock Youth from Preston County. Main Street Kingwood is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the revitalization and economic development of Kingwood. Good to have them. <laughs> K 
Kingwood Rotary. Went real fast. And they did. There they are. Their message today is fight hunger. Maybe that was speci specifically put in the parade for me. Maybe so. <laughs> fight hunger, eat buckwheat cakes. And we have the Riggins Brothers coming by. Their music is a family tradition. They do a lot of singing, including for churches, family reunions, and nursing homes. Great to have them with us today. Sounding good. And the Terra Alta Dolphins. The Black Eagles with their cheerleaders behind. Some other great kids enjoying their day, the Kingwood Baseball and Softball League. That's a good looking float with the baseball and bat on the side. Lots of local sports teams today in today's parade having a good time as you said Peggy what's not to enjoy out of school for the day that's right they're having balls of fun <laughs> well the goal of the next float is to thank Valley Fuels their their sponsor the Panthers They have different leagues, pre-K through six. Football and cheerleading. The Cougars coming up behind them. Another, some some moms were really busy last week. Uh, I can tell I you think that. I so. My goodness. Look, I remember we used to just pile in the back of a pickup truck. Look at these floats. My goodness. What would be really fun if it had a string on top and it became a pinata at the end of the parade. That would be really fun. It's a giant football. We have the Cougar cheerleaders coming up. We can't hear you! They're adorable. They're giant megaphones. There we go. go. Way to go, Peggy. And another great float. It's up. It's good for the Gators. Again, it was hay wagons and pickup trucks back in my day. Look at this. They're setting the bar. Absolutely, it's high. The Valley Gator cheerleaders. They have their names on the side. You can kind of glance at them as their float goes by. I see uh, at least three generations on that float. Oh my goodness. At least three. Maybe with the driver, it could have been four. I'm not sure. <laughs> Speaking of generations, I've enjoyed going into the uh, Harmony and seeing uh, your daughter's cheerleading memorabilia on the walls of that great facility. Yeah, and you don't know how many times I've told that story. Oh my goodness, sorry, sorry. I'm telling you what though, I stop every single time I go in there to do anything and look at that. It's just you a treat. You just stop to get the candy off my desk. I don't know what you mean. I'm not, what? It's okay. Everybody needs a mint now and then. Sure. Margaret Bell Miller Middle School from Waynesburg. Under the direction of Mr. Doug Mason, 62 strong, round trip mileage of 123. Woohoo! 
They are the Raiders. And guess what tune they're playing? Funky Town. Here we go. Ask these kids how many of them remember the tune of Funky Town. They're like, where did that come from? Where did that come from? I watched a half time show recently, and it was the same thing. It was like the 70s and 80s. They probably think, what a boring song. I know. They're like, what is this? But we're sure enjoying it. Now, if you haven't noticed, this truck is some serious diesel. You think? I like the pink. <laughs> it like takes a pink. strong man to drive that. This is Troop 66 of the Boy Scouts of America. Pack 66. There are Their 30. Their ship came in. <laughs> there again, the treasure trove theme comes in, and they have embraced it. They have Amy, Ethan, Gabrick, Brittany, Pepper, and Julian Schaefer, Elisa, Cole, and Carter Miller, Mike Street, Chase Lowe, Damian Van Cooper. Colleen Hart, Tim and Hunter Field, Mike and R Ryan Riley, Nick Grayhouse, <sighs> Briar Kennedy, and Hayden Coy. I just had the sudden aroma of cotton candy. Did you? I thought it was just me. Thank no. you. I'm so, looking down the streets to see if they're here somewhere. Where did it come it from? Somebody. South Preston Middle School, Yellow Jackets from Tunnelton. Under the direction of Patrick Baker. Drum Major Terry Veltry and Yellow Jackets and Star Wars. Which Peggy and I kind of look a little like Princess Leia with her head sets on. We could have fit in here. Use the force to play that trumpet. Thirty-three members of that band. We're trying, we're trying to get one here. He has a gun. Has not. Here we have the city of Kingwood. Order of the Rhododendron. Everybody is enjoying this beautiful day here at the 78th Annual Community School Day Parade. We see K Country, WKMM, coming up behind the City of Kingwood float. And we're about to be entertained. Thanks to that great aerial shot from Eric Baldina and Preston Family Pharmacy. By Clay Battelle. Marching CBs, junior, senior, high school. Director is Brian Reed. And of course, they're from Blacksville, West Virginia. Just went through there on my way to 100 for a football game about a week ago. JC Markley is their field commander. And they are playing High Hopes and, again, maybe. Beautiful school down there now. Their football field, we go there for track and for football, and it is amazing. And Woodley the Elf. Woodley the Elf means Forest Festival. Oh my goodness. What are we, one week out? Isn't it Forest Festival? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't want to catch. I'm saying, yeah, like my festivals, like Autumn yeah. Glory or Forest. Whenever you put that tone, I go right. <laughs> <laughs> like to mention our 
associate sponsors today of Delano's on Route 7 in Reedsville. Rainbow Tire, thank you, Tire Lady. Bruce, Browns Mill Grocery on Route 7 in Arthurdale. Thanks, Steve Biggins. And Preston Family Pharmacy on Route 7 across from Walmart. Eric Beldina, thank you so much. And thanks especially to Nelson Corbin for the lift. Thanks for the lift. And you're looking right now at a West Virginia grown float rooted in the mountain state. Looking delicious out there. We have a new group of visitors here on the corner, Terry Cochran. Here comes the Mountaineer Middle School in the direction of George Schaefer from Morgantown. 115 strong, total mileage 100 miles, simple gifts. Let's just listen. Gabrielle Chico and Connor Montgomery are the drum majors and field commanders for the Mountaineer Middle School Band. They are the Mountaineers. George Schaefer, an old face from Preston County, as you look at the beautiful aerial shot provided by Air One and Preston Family Pharmacy. surprised the parade judges don't come over here and uh, want to look at our, our footage to see a few scores. Absolutely. There's a Valley District baseball team. Another great looking. Out of the park. Float. Absolutely. Good looking set of kids. Got a few going the parade waves. Riding on Mike's towing. Little Miss PHS Micaiah Adams and Little Mr. PHS Wyatt Thomas. Followed by the Knights cheerleaders. Guess what, Melissa? What, Peggy? I think we're, it's almost over. How is, how can it be? We just got started. My goodness. What am I gonna do 
oh, for 24 hours. You're going to go eat buckwheat cakes. That's what you're going to do and get some hot sausage sandwiches or some... High ground brewing. Na na I know that's what you need. High ground brewing. Get you some coffee and you can have at it. No rest for the weary. Here come. Mm -hmm. Here comes the Central Preston Middle School Band in the direction of Michael Schaefer. We'll be closing out our parade today. They're out of Kingwood, West Virginia. Their drum major is Alana Wilson. They're wearing burgundy and gray, as you can see. The mascot is the Wildcats. And they are playing Manhattan Beach and Stonehenge Overture. They also were in Florida at Universal Studios last May. They received superior ratings at the Man Festival this past summer. It's 51 today, March 8th. Somebody's going to be keeping you busy. Tell her I hope she has lots of cash ready. I did go to the ATM. Did you? Because it looks like you're going to need it. As this parade is winding down, we want to thank our major sponsors of today, Preston Memorial Hospital and the Mon Health System. Hey, look right there. Stone Paving, Ritchie Street. Thank you. The Air One Shots by Preston Family Pharmacy. Hey. And to uh, our good-looking parade crowd. Look at this. Here we go. Let's go ride. You guys ready to go ride some rides at the Buckwheat Festival? Gets, who wants cotton candy? Who wants candy apples? Who, who wants, wants caramel buckwheat cakes? Buckwheat cakes. We're in. We're in. Peggy, thank you so much again for a lovely afternoon. Good we'll to see you. We'll see you on the grounds. See you on the grounds. And we'll see you tomorrow here for the Farmer's Day Parade. All right. Wave it, everybody. Stay with that. You've been watching the School and Community Day Parade, the 78th Annual Edition from Kingwood, West Virginia. Enjoy the Buckwheat Festival, and thank you to our major sponsors. Mon Health, Preston Memorial Hospital, and Stone Paving of Reedsville, West Virginia, along with all the other sponsors. And for Hometown TV, we say good night. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project, and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. The Wound Care Center at Preston Memorial Hospital is dedicated to helping you heal as quickly as possible. We offer a wide range of diagnostic services and therapies to help not only heal your wounds, but to help prevent further wound problems. Our compassionate team will evaluate your case and work to educate you on why you have a non-healing wound, as well as create a treatment plan, sometimes as often as your first visit. To begin your healing journey, call our Wound Healing Center today. To schedule an appointment at 304-329-3348. Hut one, hut two, hut three. Buck! What do you think you're doing? I'm just trying to teach these ladies how to play football. You leave those girls alone and get back to work. But they want to play. Hi, Buck! You better get in there and get my winter treads on and check my brakes and change the oil. 
We have to get to the Preston High football game, you fool! Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. Kent and Melissa with Delano's Furniture and Mattress. Celebrate the new year with us by saving big on our double-sided Made in West Virginia mattress sets. Yesterday's quality meets today's technology. A mattress you can flip. It'll last you year after year. Come, Come experience, experience the Delano's, Delano's difference. difference. The Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. We also have adjustable beds.